Hey guys, hope things are going well. It has stopped raining so I can get some gardening done and the sun is kind of, oh my goodness, uh, shining at the moment. Uh, I wanted to show you quickly some of my wild columbine seedlings, uh, just to show you what they look like when they're in year one uh, compared to year two, because there is such a big difference in a lot of the native wildflowers uh, in their first year compared to their second uh, or third. So I'm gonna show you what's down there. Uh, in my remaining mess of winter sowing plants. So just quickly, this is my remaining pile of winter sowing plants. Uh, I have some swamp milkweed that I'm planning on planting today. World milkweed, we're gonna hold off uh, for a little bit. I have some asters and goldenrod there. Uh, golden alexander, some geraniums. And here you can kind of see uh, my columbine seedlings. These ones came up a little earlier. Um, than the other jugs that I have, but you can see that they've remained quite short. Uh, so they didn't get really tall, no flowers or anything, and this one you can see. This one came up a little bit later than the other one. So they do look, you know, a little scrawny. They do have a few leaves on there, but nothing spectacular in their first year. In this first year, they are spending a lot of time growing roots. Uh, so some of you might know, uh, in the first year they sleep, in the second year they creep, uh, which means that they're slowly starting to grow a little bit more in their second year because they spent that first year developing roots. And then in the third year is really when you get to see them do well. So that's when they start to leap. Um, in the garden, you can kind of see some of my year two columbines there. I might actually step into the flower bed there. Those ones have actually started to flower and they're probably around three feet tall uh, compared to my tiny little columbine seedlings from this winter sowing. So again, here is our year one columbine. You know, I sowed these uh, in the winter. They sprouted in the spring. Not a whole lot going on. Wild columbine does flower in the spring. Uh, so that's pretty much it for that, um, or this growing season for those plants there. But this is what remains of my year two uh, wild columbine. You can still see there are some flowers that have stuck on there. No hummingbirds um, that I saw, but still very pretty. There are some seed pods. Uh, as well on that plant. But you can see it is a lot bigger and taller. It sent up a flower stalk. Oh, two flower stalks on that one. And then if you look down there, you can see all of those leaves as well. So a big difference between that year one and year two. You can see I have one more there. And then a couple of columbines over there as well. Anyways, I hope that visual was helpful just to show you the difference between a year one wild columbine seedling versus a year two plant that's a little bit uh, more mature. Um, so patience is required for a lot of our native Ontario wildflowers, um, but the payoff uh, is quite amazing. Anyways, I'm going to get gardening before it starts to rain again, and I'll see you later.